Alright, so today Nagini shed for the first time in the Ricky Reptile Enclosure. Um, I kept the humidity around uh, 65 to 70. I uh, usually stayed right around 65 for the most part. Um, and the rest of the stuff just stayed the same. Uh, she had a very easy shed. This is, this is the shed here. Very easy. Um, she didn't have any problems. She wasn't really struggling at all. Um, we had full tail to head. The head got a little scrunched up a little bit, but um, but up here you can see the eye cap right here, and the other ones over here on this side. Um, the bottom part got kind of messed up um, from the unrolling process, but overall not bad. Um, now compared to her shed and a fish tank. This was uh, the head part. I think I got a little bit better on um, in the fish tank one, but again, uh, I really think that the Ricky's Reptile Enclosure helped out a lot. Um, so I just wanted to show that little bit of comparison, but definitely think that she's grown a little bit. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to share with you with uh, the Ricky Reptile Enclosure let you know that it's definitely great for shedding and again this is this is the setup um, nothing too fancy uh, but she shed in her hide uh, this is the second time that she shed in the hide uh, last time she shed it was um, again in the fish tank and she just uh, kept on making circles inside the hide um, the hide is right back there here this is just the hide right here. Very simple. Just, you know, sits back here in the corner over the heat mat. And, uh, she just, you know, circled around and got the skin off of her. Um, I'm guessing that she did that because it, it is light out, or maybe that was just easier for her to, to shut in. But, you know, just sharing that with you. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, comment, rate. I'll ask any questions if you guys got any. Uh, but Ricky's Reptile Enclosure definitely stood up to the task and uh, accomplished. You know, nice, easy, snakes happy. And yeah, thank you again.